All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking football. We're doing another draft breakdown presented by SeatGeek. And today we're looking at Alabama left tackle Evan Neal. Now, this guy is projected to go top five, you know, top six, seven at the latest. He's viewed as the top tackle prospect by most people, him battling with uh, Akeem Kwanu out of NC State. And there's a reason why this guy's been hyped for a long time. He's a three-year starter at Alabama at guard, right tackle, and then left tackle this last this last season. And he's six foot seven. Maybe 340, 350, I haven't got his official win, but he's a mammoth, a mammoth, and he knows how to use his size, and we're going to go through it in pass pro and run pro, um, but first, him as a player, you really like his hands in pass pro to go with this size, I mean, he really locks on the guys, he doesn't get, he gets, he's pretty patient with those hands, and he's got experience in vertical sets, 45 sets, quick sets in, in the pass game, good at IDing, uh, inside counters, and, and stunts. He's got some issues, uh, things that he needs to get better at, so he's not vulnerable against inside moves after fir- first contact. You know, can lunge at times. His his feet get too skinny or open his hips up quickly, but this is all coachable stuff that he should. And again, this is a guy who's moved positions every year. You know, he moved from right tackle to left tackle, and he may move back to right tackle in the NFL depending on what team uh, was, was ends up drafting him. But I, you know, most teams he's probably going to move move to left tackle. But if if a team like the Giants got him, he'd move, he'd stay at right tackle. Um, and his strength never shows up. He's never a victim of the bush. And the run game, he needs to get better at his first stunt, his first step. He's got a good punch, but he needs to keep his feet rolling through that. Um, but he does move, guys. He can lose his balance or get disengaged. But we'll, we'll go through all that. But first, we're going to go through the pass game. And let's start. We're going to go through some games versus Georgia and Florida. So now he's got a wide pass rusher here. Let's go through it. So getting vertical, one, two. Now, I want that third step to not be opening up the hips. That's the issue. But he has the size and athleticism to get away with it. He just needs to be quicker to get into that. Lunges a little with his hands, but it doesn't kill him. See how he's got these shoulders leaning over. Like he, you get kid, and we'll talk about that later where he can get uh, guys might uh, redirect inside on him with that. But once he's got his hands on you, you're not getting him off. He's got the length. You try and dip that shoulder, he's going to push it down. And a good rep. We're starting here. The pocket's going to be here. We're finishing the play right here. That's always a win. That's always a win for the, left, the starting left tackle when you're facing a wide nine. Again, going up against a stronger defensive lineman. Good set. Not the most violent punch, but gets his hands a little high, but they're inside, which is the most important thing. D lineman's trying to break them off, can't break them off. Again, he once he's got his hands on you, they're locked on. Pulls out the hop step. So you have both feet going in the air right here. You know he's getting that bull rush. Re-anchor doesn't lose any ground after that point. Hands inside. Again, you want him a little lower, but it's better to have him high and inside than, than wide and low. Next rep. I mean, watch the punch. Just those long arms showing up. Now see the feet? This is, this is the kind of stuff he needs to get better at. You don't want your feet together like that. You see the left guard, you want your feet like that. See the right tackle, you want your feet like that. You don't want to get those heels skipping together. You want to ping the, bring that foot, bring that foot back, drag the right. You don't want them shuffling together. But again, once he's got his hands on you, it's over. Again. This is where the QB is setting up. And a straight bro- drop back. You're ending up here. That's a hell of a rep. That's a win of a rep right there. To be lined up right there. You got all this chaos right here. But your quarterback knows he doesn't have to worry about the left tackle. He's got his left guard being put on his ass. He's got this guy at his feet. But your left tackle's holding it down. Making himself a top five pick. Next rep. 
Again, just stunning number four. One, two, three. Better feet that time. See how the feet are staying wide. Bam, place those hands. Rep over. You can do all the hand fighting you want. Evan Neal's not letting go. That hand grip, that arm length, showing up. Bam, rep over. Reps over, number four. We're running into guys well after the play should, the ball should be out. We're running into them. Ten yards behind the pocket. It's a win of a rep. And your QB's able to, QB's able to make some uh, move. Now he's slow off the ball in this rep. You see the snap. Everyone's kind of set. Evan Neal's a little late. Dion gets a good jump on it. He's able to recover. He's got to open his hips up immediately, which you don't want to do. You want to be in this position. But again, this is where being that size, that athletic, helps you get away with some of those things. And it's like, hey, when this gets coached up out of him, this is why it's gonna, he's going to be dominant and not just a good tackle. Hands inside where you want him. Feet getting a little too close together, but again, he's got the strength. He's got the size to overcome. A win of a rep. Next rep. You see now his feet are staying wider. You can clean up the way he gets to those feet being wide. Keep hands off of them. Bam, hands reload. Punch. Rep over. Ball comes out quick on this one, but rep, reps over regardless. Now I want to look at him versus some inside counters. He's really good at IDing them and seeing them and powering down on them. Good set. Three steps. He spins. Okay, watch the right foot. Horizontal with the line of scrimmage. Not dropping back here and giving the defensive end a, a, a pass to the quarterback. Horizontal. Play the piano on his back. Hands inside. Good wide base. Shut down that inside counter. Get this guy. Oh, I, I can't finish this rub. I got to jump for a ball. Touchdown. Touchdown, you get to celebrate. Big man gets to celebrate. Dominant rep. YMCA. There you go. This was a close game, too. Reps like this matter. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. That's what it is. That wasn't a celebration. That was a... Why? Oh, my God. Catch the ball on the right team. Damn, I really screwed that one up. <laughs> Here, again... He's got number four. He backs out. Immediately power down. Immediately power down. Stun him with that punch. Now his feet can be his feet can be a little better on this one. Finish the rep. Finish the rep. Bulldoze him into the pile. I mean, watch him. Watch his hand, his punch just stun eighty eight. Bam. Next rep. Good set. As soon as you see that inside move. Pushing off the left foot. Powering down the right foot. Staying horizontal with the line of scrimmage. Punching. Hands inside. It's a win of a rep. QB's got to get the ball out. And he pitches it because that's what Alabama does. Again, another inside another inside move. IDs it. Set. Push off the left. Right foot sidestep. A little bit back. But again, it's a win. 
wash him down, and now Bryce Young gets to take off and win a Heisman. This one you're celebrating. This is the YMCA right here. Now let's talk about how he can get taken advantage of at times. These these inside counters once contact that first contact it's already made. Good hands inside. Do you see that inside being left vulnerable? Just hit you know, again, he's good at IDing it, but once that contact's made, being able to power down. See it more so on this one. One, two, three. See the hips are too the hips are open. The hips are totally open. So what does that lead? You're trying to wash him around the edge, you're trying to, you know, deal with that speed. Well he gets his hand on you and he's able to inside counter. He's able to get your momentum going that way because it's going that way because your hips are open. And if this ball is held for another half second, you got a QB hit. So again, it's little stuff like that. Just not opening up these hips. Stay vertical for one more set. And again, a similar rep. This one versus spin. See that? One, two, three. On that third step, his tip, his hips are totally open. Stay horizontal for one more step. One, two, get horizontal. Get this foot facing forward and get horizontal. Now your hips are totally open. Your, your feet are together and he's able to spin inside of you. And now he's got a pass of the quarterback. And it's a, it's a forgotten rep by, you know, the Florida Gators and Alabama fans. What do you have, Neil? Because it's a touchdown? But that's the kind of stuff that Evan Neal has to work on in the pass game. And then in the run game, before we, actually, before we get to the run game, this, again, this video was brought to you by SeatGeek. Live events are back, which means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code GIANTS. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've got we've got the app on my phone. Like I use it to go to basketball games. Um, you know, when I went to the Giants game last year, that's what I did. And by the way, talking about the Giants, use promo code Giants to use this. And guess what? When you use promo code Giants, you're gonna get twenty dollars off all tickets with SeatGeek with promo code Giants. Uh, whether it's football, concerts, basketball, baseball, festivals, or more, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying simple. And they do they do ratings for seats, so it's like, hey, okay, I, you know, I don't want to have spend the most money on seats, but I want to get a decent seat. They have ratings deals, so you can look at stuff inside the map, use the map. So it's it's really good. Every ticket on SeatGeek is backed by their buyer guarantee, so you can shop for tickets with confidence. Again, we've got the hookup. Use code GIANTS, like Evan Neal's a giant, for GIANTS for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase, promo code GIANTS. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. All right, now let's talk about the run game with Evan Neal. All right, in the run game with Evan Neal, there's a lot of room for improvement. You see good stuff. You see that he has the ability to just be an earth mover. But he's got to work on these two things. His feet. They get too skinny at times. They stop on contact. But again, there's room for improvement. And I think we forget sometimes these draft prospects, even the top ones, are going to have stuff to work on in their game. So let's go through it with Evan Neal. Um, this is going to be a lot of like nitpicking at, at Evan Neal. But it's it's needed because he's going to be a top five pick. You need to be able to do these things. So let's go through it. But some good stuff. Some really good stuff, obviously, too. But even like in these good plays, you see where the issues come from. So look, he's got his hands inside. He gets movement. He's got a guy five yards off the ball. That's a good run rep. But where he gets in trouble is, look, that's good hands inside. But his feet are so skinny and he rises up. And at that six foot seven frame... It's tough. 
and he loses engagement. Again, he loses engagement on guys. He loses balance a lot. You know, ends up on he has snaps where he just ends up on the ground, not from being bullied or anything. He just loses balance, and it all stems from his feet getting too skinny through contact. But again, that's that's a good rep. Next rep, we got him here. This is a good rep. You've got an inside four eye. You're trying to seal that off. This hand's a little wide, but the right hand is the one that matters the most. It's right in that blessed press plate where you want. Gets off the ball quick. He's the one initiating contact. Good job. Drives the feet, flips the hips around. Good rep. Like that's what Evan Neal can do on every play. And even then, he can drive his feet a little more. You know, at this point, you know, drive these feet instead of just totally flipping the hips around. But again, he ma he makes this he makes this run play possible by sealing off this inside shaded four eye defense alignment. Evan Neal's the one who makes this play possible by not letting this get washed down. But again, you got to run out right here, and you see he's big, strong, athletic. He initiates contact. That's something I love is that he's he's always bringing the punch before the D lineman's getting into into his chest. Gets good movement, but you do see the feet get too skinny. I mean, he's standing straight up. I mean, look at look at the way the left guard is, how those feet are wide. Keep those feet. He's got to keep the, get those feet to stay wide. Again, ends up being in the on a, on a cutback play. Ends up ends up being the backside. Here, do a last second shift by Georgia. Good start, but again, just kind of loses balance. Good first two steps, bringing the punch. You know, like him shoot them out a little more instead of bringing them up, but that works. Hands inside. And you see his feet are just a little too... This one's not as bad, but his feet are a little too skinny. And this, def and this linebacker is able to get into his chest, his shoulder pads, and pull him. Lose balance. Keep those feet wide. Don't be so leaning where... Your helmet's here and your knees are back here. Give him that duck walk and move him. Even if you're not pushing this guy out to here. You 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 pit him out here, you win this rep. Again, just rises up on this play. Again, first two steps. Quick. One, two. Pop, hands inside. Good job. Now get this foot wider. Get one of these feet. Get these feet wide. Because look, he rises up. His feet are super skinny, and now he's standing straight up. He's standing straight up, and instead of giving this running back a nice cu uh, cut through here, he bounces out, which you know. 44 probably makes that play anyways because he's not uh, supposed to bounce out. But if you keep these feet wide, you ride it and you give him a lane up here. So it's just, it's again, extremely fixable things. Like these are things that should be coached in Evan Neal. I went back and watched some uh, right tackle film on him because there's times where he just, like, this is against Aziz Ojolari, who, I, you know, I cover the Giants, so I've watched a ton of Aziz Ojolari. And he just. Moves him. Like, I didn't see Aziz Ojolari get moved like this all season in the NFL. And he's wide. One, two. Checks inside to set this uh, guy up for the trap block for uh, for 65, Deontay Brown. Hands inside. Good punch. Just moves the guy. Moves his ease to Ojolari.
Here they're running outside zone again against the Zizo Jalari. Rides him. And they say in the outside zone for the tackle. It's one, two. If you don't have your helmet outside, you just keep riding him out towards the sideline. And that's exactly what he does. Loses balance at the end. But he gets I think he gets tangled up. Again, you're resetting this player from here. And we're resetting him out here. We're moving from this logo to this logo. So again, you see the ability. Here, you got him on the back side of outside uh, of zone. Fires off quick. Great get off of the line of scrimmage. Hat placement. Hands. Flip the hips. Again, working on the back side. You're the reason this play pops. Evan Neal's the reason this play pops. He's got a three tech inside. That's a hard block to make. Fires off quick, flips the hips around. Bam, you got a nice play for Alabama. Now back at left tackle in 2021. This is the one play I was talking about where the gaps are. Like, and these plays show up a lot. I'm not going to play a ton of them just because. But just these down blocks. Would like this right foot to gain ground. That's where you want your hat. Again, this is where you can get away with leaning in, in plays like this. Just ride this guy down. And your guard's able to be a lead blocker, and you got yourself a nice play. Just riding this guy down. And outside zone shows ability to get to the second level. Good job staying on this to help your guard. Ride it, ride it. Okay, now come off. The tackle and guard widen it. Running back's able to cut up. Go, go, go. Come off. There you go. There you go, Evan Neal. Another outside zone. Get to the second level. You're helping. You're helping add yards. You added. You added ten yards to this play, Evan Neal. Could have done a better job with the D lineman getting his shoulders open. But hey, he's flowing with the play. Again, like that last play, if they're going to flow outside, just ride it. And he's able to come off on this linebacker, get a piece of him. And instead of him making the tackle right here, we're gaining 10 yards. So... Evan Neal, obviously a, t a top five pick in this draft. Might even go first 1-1. One, one. Um, a player should be really excited about. And he's got a lot of room for improvement. And I think sometimes we downgrade players, like technique-wise. And again, you got to get to know them and, and figure out, like, hey, is this something you're going to work tirelessly at to get better at your craft? But I think sometimes we downgrade players for, like, some technique issues that, can be that are very fixable. There's certain things that aren't very fixable. These type of things with Evan Neal can be fixed. Not easily, but if he puts in the work, he can do that. So, um, Evan Neal, better in pass blocking than run blocking right now, but he's got a, a lot of room for improvement, and I think if he's going to put in the work, he's going to do that. So, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out the other ones. Uh, we got some, again, we're, we're I'm putting this one out towards the beginning of the process, so there's not bit much on the playlist, but check out the playlist because you guys are going to be watching. It's all draft season. See you on the next one.